Good morning, everyone. I'm Chunks of Earth. How are you today? Well, today's show is called The Trifecta of Tea Billies. Since the re-election of President Barack Obama, we've seen an amazing amount of craziness and absolute anger at having to be empath empathetic, considerate, and thinking long term. I have to say that there is no other group of people that I've witnessed that think in such short term goals as profit, selfishness, greed, and get out. As soon as I can make my money, you make as much as I possibly can until somebody figures out that I can help others. I want to screw as many people as possible because that's the American way. And you better do it to them before they do it to you. Then I get out and I take my money and I leave. I go to the Cayman Islands. I go to Costa Rica. I go somewhere where I don't have to pay taxes, contribute to the infrastructure, and give a shit about the next generation because that's their fault. I didn't ask them to be born. That's their problem. You're all on your own. I got mine. Screw you. All right. I'm not one of those people. So I'm a socialist, libtard, Nazi, Marxist, pinko, commie fag. That's me. Okay. Whatever. And just like them, I have a real difficult time changing that. I mean, they're, they're entrenched. They're not going to change. It's just the way they were brought up. It's the way they may feel most comfortable. It's what they're entitled to. They're entitled to that opinion. So I'm going to mention three tea billies that have made the news recently, and we're going to examine them closely, not so closely, and suggest your opinions and thoughts and make you aware of what's happening around you, around this great nation. Uh, we know about the push to secession, and Glenn Beck has stated on his Facebook page that 30 states now qualify for secession. Not qualify to be reviewed, not qualify to have the White House examine it. They qualify for actual secession. He said this, wrote this. This is the level of civics, of... Uh, Understanding the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, all these things are, are merely opinions, apparently. They're, they've been interpreted so many different ways, and none of them seem based in reality. So let's begin with our first tea billy of the day. Here we have our good friend, Scott DeJarlis. Now, Scott is a congressman from Tennessee, of all places, another one of those great states that wants to secede, who owes a great deal of debt to the federal government because they've been bailed out of many issues. They owe a lot of money to the federal government. So just like Americans want to do, these Americans, run up the debt, run up the credit, get the hell out. We don't want to be a part of the, the U.S. anymore. All right, whatever. Well, good old Scott is anti-abortion because that's required by the GOP and the teabaggers. He's anti-abortion, and he's anti-gay, and he's anti-American, basically, anti-human. So here we have Scott. Not only approved his wife's abortion, two of them, but he slept with co-workers, patients. And further down here in this article, it says here, at least one of his patients he prescribed pain pills for while he was chief of staff at a local hospital, someone he was sleeping with. Now, he pressured, whoops, pressured, wow. One of his patients who he was sleeping with to abort a pregnancy that she said came from their flings. Okay. So this guy is another classic patriot and human being testified under oath that all this stuff is true. He is still being supported by the Christian right. 
and I will leave a link to this article so you can read it. That's T. Billy, number one. Number two, number two, work our way up and work our way down. Bobby Jindal, who recently made news a few months ago by introducing textbooks into Louisiana schools that suggested that Loch Ness's monster, Nessie, was real and that the Japanese have caught a live dragon in their fishing nets, among other things. Bobby Jindal was also the man personally responsible for introducing legislation to take citizens' tax money and give it to religious organizations like schools and such. One of his supporters in the legislature, when they found out that this tax money that's given to religious schools that the Muslim schools qualified for it, she was horrified. She did not believe that Muslims were a true religion and were qualified to take tax money. So this is again the level of investigation that the GOP, the Tea Parties, do when they pass laws all to better America. So good old Jindal, GOP should stop being the stupid party. Bobby, I think you need a mirror. It says here, uh, Bobby wants to tell Republicans to end dumbed-down conservatism by putting a stop to offensive, bizarre comments. Okay. Now, this is beautiful. We've also had enough of these dumbed-down conservatism. We need to stop being simplistic. We need to trust the intelligence of the American people, and we need to stop insulting the intelligence of the voters. Are you going to start with yourself, Bobby? Um, how's that education, hopey, changey thing working out for you? Still last in the nation? Yeah, I thought so. Well, I'm, I'm fantastically surprised at the level of hypocrisy and self-awareness that doesn't exist within these people that are in leadership positions. Leadership. Leadership. And he's being supported by the Christian right and the Tea Party. I don't think much is going to change, Bobby. I really don't. And lastly, we have the cream of the crop. Mr. Belcher is the man behind the Alabama secession petition. And he's angry about losing his topless car wash. <sighs> okay. This 45-year-old man from Alabama, another red state whose amazing amount of debt to the federal government causes them to be a burden for the rest of us. But let's see how Mr. Belcher addresses his situation. Now, he says that the federal government, well, first he says he's an absolute libertarian and previously owned a topless car wash. That is until the government shut down his business, he claims. All right, so he doesn't want to be a part of America any longer. He thinks that America has changed and he wants a new America. Now, this one's classic. If you look at the map of the red states, we have all the oil and we produce all of the food. We're the ones that are carrying the rest of the nation. Really? Really? Hmm. I guess that's why you've got all the money and you're just handing it out hand over fist. Right, Derek? Now, the Alabama native blames the federal government for, stop, for shutting down his car, topless car wash, Euro Details, which he claims was successful for a decade in Mobile, according to Alabama.com. In 2001, he was arrested and charged with obscenity. Now, who arrested him? Was it the federal government? No. Was it the state government? No. Well, maybe. But it was definitely the local government. And here it says, oh, Alabama enacted its own anti-obscenity law in 1998, prohibiting private businesses and clubs from allowing breasts, genitalia, and buttocks 
to be shown for entertainment. Although legislate, legislators claimed the law was instituted to stop nude dancing, opponents argue the statute is so broad it could be used to censor any type of entity that shows nudity. Belcher's topless car wash fell under this umbrella. Okay. So the state government shuts him down, and he blames the federal government. See, here, here it is. Quote, the American people are being mistreated by the federal government, and there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't end this treatment from the federal government. This guy is an idiot. He doesn't know anything about civics, the law, and even who he has to answer to. In addition, I would like to ask all the women who worked for Mr. Belcher at this topless car wash how they felt about being employed in that capacity. Were they excited to finally be able to wash cars topless like they've always wanted to for all their lives? Were they upset that their careers and economic opportunity was taken away by the state government? Hmm, I'd like to know. I really would. So, this has been the Chunks of Earth Trifecta of T. Billy Madness. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you understand. People are laughing at these people, laughing at them. They are, are, are in their own world. And maybe I'm in my own world. Maybe, maybe I just don't get it. I continue to not get it. I try. I try. But I don't get it. And they embrace this derision. They love it. They think, well, because you hate me, I'm right. Or because you disagree with me, I must be doing something right. And that's another concept I will never understand. People have turned around the statement or the, the, the concept of here's why you're wrong and here's why you should not continue to believe or act like this because your goals are screwed up and their response is, well, I must be doing something right. No, you're not. But it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. I'm not going to stop you because I'm a liberal, Nazi, socialist, Marxist, liberal. I don't think I said liberal. Talk. I like liberal. Uh, commie pinko fag. And I'm what's wrong with America. These people are what's right with America. If we went back to their way of thinking, all of our problems would be solved. Just remember that. Your thoughts, comments, video responses, always welcome. I'm Chunks of Earth. So are you. Have a great afternoon.